Hi, I'm John. I'm an engineer by trade and also a specialist in fitness machinery. And I've got a treadmill here and I'm just going to talk through the kind of things that you can do with regard to looking after your machine to make sure that you get the best life out of it. The most important thing is keeping the running belt lubricated. You use silicon oil underneath the running belt and basically squirt the oil under there 15 to 20 millilitres every three to four months, but in most domestic applications is fine, perhaps a little more frequently if it's a commercial environment. And just put the lube under there and walk it in. That's the single most important thing that you can do to look after your machine. Uh, other things that you can do, well, after you've used it, if you can get a cleaning product such as gym wipes, uh, these are antibacterial wipes, they're, they're already moist, and they've also got uh, a chemical in there that will remove fatty, uh, deposits, per perspiration basically. So they're designed for this kind of job. And think about where you're going to be on the machine. So a lot of sweat will usually gather around these areas. So just keep it clean, particularly the legs on the inside of the legs here. You're really trying to stop that perspiration getting down into the welds and into the frame of the machine where it can penetrate the paint and start to cause corrosion. So things like that will make the machine look scruffy, but also could give it a structural problem in the long term. So a quick wipe over after you use it with gym wipes does an awful lot to keep your machine running nicely in the long term. So what else can you do? Well now and again with a vacuum cleaner just clean around this area here and underneath where the running belt goes keep all of that area nice and clear uh, keep it free of dust and also just vacuum out any dust from these kind of areas here. That will stop the dust then becoming attracted to your running belt and uh, causing a problem with regard to friction in the long term. The other things that you might need to do, um, you can lubricate the pivots. So things like you see how the machine is going down at the moment. So there's pivot mechanisms here and on the other side and underneath. So a quick spray with Gibbs or WD-40 or three-in-one oil if you've got some of that bicycle chain oil. A little dab of that oil now and again on those pivots will stop squeaks and stop creaks and annoying noises like that. And then finally, there's adjustments at the back that you can use to re-tighten the belt. And also if the belt happens to drift over to the left or the right, you can keep it running nice and, nice and true and also nice and tight. So there we are, some simple tips. We don't need any screwdrivers or any tools for those. And if you can do that, then there's no reason at all. If you combine that with a, a service plan, for example, and have your machine serviced once a year or once, a, you know, once every six months, whatever's appropriate, depending on how much you're using it, um, there's no reason why that machine won't, then won't give you 10 to 15 years worth of, of good trouble-free service.